What is up my beautiful Marmars and welcome back to my kitchen today. We're gonna make some DIY bubble gum But it's gonna be the most sourest bubble gum ever also if you click the link below It's my Amazon affiliate link and you can get this bubble gum making kit too All right, let's get to it the bubble gum making kit comes with gum base corn syrup and some flavoring You won't need and some powdered sugar cut the gum base pour it in stick it in the microwave like so after about two minutes your gum base should be all nice and loosey-goosey like this and you want to add some blue dye right here because we're gonna make our super sour gum blue and just add some corn syrup that you got from your gum making kit directly into it like this yes yeah, slowly drizzle it in mix it all together all nice like this get the blue dye with corn syrup with everything mix it all together get your malic acid just put a little dash in there mix it all together like so like this make it nice and beautiful and sour like this malic acid is the acid that gives it that sourest thing that you taste in warheads or sour skittles or anything like that malic acid is always present so that's what we just added to our gum right now put your gum directly into some powdered sugar like this and you just want to keep massaging your gum into the powdered sugar and this is going to help make it a lot less sticky and taste great hopefully but mostly just make it not as sticky you're just going to keep moving it around with the powdered sugar and then you're going to take your gum flatten it out like this keep shaping it until you have a nice form and then you want to get your roller and just roll that out super hard like this and roll it roll it out until it's something nice that you can actually cut grab a piece of gum like this and use it as your shaper and then you can cut along the lines of it to find the perfect form of gum you can then put that piece of gum directly into a little gum foil that you took the other piece of gum out of you just fold it right up like that and bam you can actually make gum balls out of it also you make like like 50 gumballs out of this one pack and then look at that then you can just cut it into little slices like this like whoa, 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 whoa so many slices and then just chop it up this way and just have these cool like gum spaghetti looking things I love eating some gum Wow, look at all these options of gum I made. I made these like cool little strips right here or you can just have the cool gum that you can put in your own pack and you can prank somebody with it. I'm not actually gonna prank anyone today. Sour stuff is actually very scary. So I used a ton of malic acid in this and it could actually really hurt someone. So I'm gonna eat it myself and hopefully I don't die. So um, here we go, opening it right now and I'm kind of scared. In three, in two, in one. <laughs> Oh, it's so sour. Ah, it's, like, ah. <laughs> it's like instantly super sour. Oh. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> now imagine filling up with saliva so fast because it's so sour. <laughs> Why did I do this? Ah! Oh, okay. I gotta go out. Sour. It, it doesn't really go away, and it just sticks in there because it's like in the gum. It's in the DNA of the gum. It just gets all up in your mouth. It makes you just salivate like crazy. Ooh, malic acid. Ooh. Woo. If you guys ever want to prank anybody, malic acid gum is where it's at. If you love warheads, add some sugar to this and you'll have warheads gum. So, if you guys get this video to 50,000 likes, I'll make a giant strip of gum like this big right here. Like, see this thing? But big and massive. We are past 900,000 subscribers. We're so close to 1 million subscribers. So, if you're not a Marmar yet, welcome to my channel. Click subscribe. I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. And I'll see you tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace!